Hello everyone, in today's tech tip video we'll take a look at the belt chain command inside of SOLIDWORKS assemblies. It is an assembly feature that allows us to designate certain components as pulleys and gives us the ability to define belt length and the thickness of those belts to drive the pulley components. So in my assembly I have two simple pulleys at different sizes and I also have this idler. So to get started, I'll come up here to the top in the assembly features command. All the way at the bottom, there is my belt chain command. Once I've initiated it, it should populate some options on the left hand side under properties. Here I'm going to designate some of those um, belt members. And to do this, I'm just going to select the edges. And once I've done that, you should see that there is the preview of the belt shown. From here I could go ahead and assign it a belt thickness let's say an inch and when I do that you should see that there is a offset off of that. Once you've assigned it you can go ahead and press OK and now if I rotate one of my belt components you should see the other rotate as well. To add in the idler, I can come back in here, edit the feature, and add in the idler as well. I might want to go ahead and put the belt on the inside face, so I'll go ahead and flip the belt side. And you'll notice that right now the belt length is at 91.74 inches, so I'm going to click OK. If I change the thickness of this belt to thicker, let's say 3 inches, you'll see that the belt length has changed to 99 increased to reflect the change in belt thickness. If I go through and remove one of my positions so that it can freely move, I can go through the belt command and actually make the belt length be driven by a certain dimension and let's say I want something like 80 inches. That will bring the position to satisfy that belt length. I can go ahead and click OK and I can still see the same engagement from the belt chain command.